Okay, everybody, welcome back to Kailul Kol Shira in partnership with Breslov.org. We're going to see a beautiful, uh, a beautiful piece now. And this piece is actually in uh, Hilchus Kaviyas paying back our paying back our uh, debts. If someone has a debt, they have to uh, you know pay pay back the pay back the debts. And uh, it's halacha. Hey, we're up to Ice Gimel. And the most beautiful thing is this is my regular seder that I have in Lakut the halachas daily. And we came up and it. I love I love so much. Uh, it's a present from our Kodesh Baruch Hu when we when we have in Yoni the Yoyma of the Parsha in the sheets and in the thing that I my regular my regular say the limit. So the, he says like this now, and we're going to learn a beautiful beautiful concept, and we're going to tie this concept into the into into the whole the whole uh, Indian of Mitzrayim and the and the Makis of Mitzrayim and 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 Kriya of everything. We're going to tie it all together now. So here we go. And with this, what we're going to learn now is depending on the entire Torah to understand this concept, is everything's dependent on this. Because what we're going to learn now is going to teach us what, what Bechira is, our free choice. And the Soyen, all of our tests. Shala Adam. all of Kol and all the different things that happen to us during our lifetimes. Everything that happens to us is because of our Bechira, our free choice. In other words, Akchem puts us into different junctions constantly in our lives. He puts us into these different uh, situations to test us to see what we're going to do and how we're going to react to those things. So you have Bechira, which is the free choice of the Nesayan of the test. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu sends us a test. Then we have the Bechira and how we're going to choose to act at that junction. He's going to explain very nicely. Uh, here we go. HaKol B'Inyan Zeh, Ki Derech Hashem Yisbaruch Shemei Epona Bechol Pam. The way of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is He shows, He shines His light at the person. HaKadosh Baruch Hu shines his countenance at the person. He shows himself. And at the same time, HaKadosh Baruch Hu hides himself. In other words, he lets you know I'm here, and then he hides himself. Right? Okay? Now, now this is going to, we're going to see, is, gonna, is, is going on, this is going on, in, in, as, as the Rebbe is going to say, Nabasaikh And this is when it comes to Klolius in, 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 in the world itself, in things of the world itself. And then the Pratius by individual, by individual, in, individuals. Ubiprati Pratius in, 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 in individual, individual situations. Bechlolius Zaman, Zaman Koloilam. And this is Bechlalius, it's Zman Kol Oilam. It's, the, it's, it's all the time. It's always in every generation. Therefore, every test and every, every choice that a person makes, and if someone places his attention, puts a te- pays attention to this, Our paskios are adventures. Vatiloyos are, are are different things. Vatzolos and 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 the savings our Kaddish Baruch Hu saves us. Varachovos and did different things of expansiveness. By Yeshuas and salvation. The floys. However, Mala bechol bechol yemei chayev over Yosef binyan aparnasa. And our Kaddish Baruch Hu shows us this mostly, and it shows out mostly when it comes to parnasa to to one sustenance. Kemay sherina biyetzias mitzrayim. As we see by Yisias Mitzrayim, Miyoyim she nizgala Hashem is Baruch LaMoshe legolam ad hasayif. From the day Hakadosh Baruch Hu appeared to Moshe Rabbeinu at the bur- at the burning bush, right in Parshas Shemais, Hakadosh Baruch Hu appeared to Moshe Rabbeinu at the burning bush. From that very time, then Hakadosh Baruch Hu appeared to him ad hasayif until the end. She betchila heir Hashem pon of LaMoshe. Originally, HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed his countenance to Moshe Rabbeinu, where? By the burning bush. 
Okay? Between the Mayor and the Maisha, Behera Nifla, in a wondrous way. The bush is burning, it's not being consumed, and, and, and all, all of the different signs that HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed him. Ushalcha Legalim, mean, he sent, he sent Maisha Rabbeinah to send, to get at the, to, 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 to redeem us. Umasa Biyadai Maifsim Vaisai, he gave Maisha Rabbeinu all the different signs, Right, the first one was with the stick, and then he had to put his hand in his his his, his jacket, and he came out with the tzaras. All these different wondrous, miraculous things, right? To to reveal the godliness in the world, in order that Klai Yisrael should believe in Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem did this all so that we should become God fearing, believing Jews. Until we'll merit to accept the Torah. Okay, now. Okay, now. And, and the, we believed, we listened, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uh, HaKadosh Baruch Hu remembered us. But then Maisha Rabbeinu went to Pare to take us out of Pare Hitcha. But Pare wasn't enough that he didn't let them go out of Mitzrayim. Afgam hich bin aleya ma'avoyde b'yoyser. He made it more difficult. Remember what happened? Maishu Rabbeinu, Maishu Rabbeinu came to Pari and Pari said, oh yeah, now you're going to go get your own straw. Now you have to go get your own straw. He made it more difficult for us. So in other words, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, he shows his continence, he shows himself, he shows the signs, but then he, retra- re- he retracts and it seems like Hashem is not in control because look, he just made the situation more difficult in Mitzrayim. Any idea? Does it make sense? Good? Okay. Uh, okay. They're not give them the straw. As I take in this Ira Kefiras, Dabi Dasan Vavira. I mean, right away, Dasan Vavira, they have their Kefira, their heresy. And what happened? And those that that went after, they followed after them. Acha Yatsu, Nitzavim, Likois, Maitchiv Armor, Yire Hashem, Aleyam, Vishbait. Vizer Machma Shahaya has stories upon him, and that all came about because HaKadosh Baruch Hu chose to hide himself. HaKadosh Baruch Hu invented the game of hide go seek. Hashem showed, here I am, he hides, and now we have to go find him. We have to find the Rabbi Nishalayim. Because we thought, we thought that, 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 that uh, maybe HaKadosh Baruch, maybe HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you, have, you don't have the right booklet, uh, Joel. The next booklet, the next booklet. Yeah, the next booklet. No, no, no. The, 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 you know, the one in front of you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. On, on the bottom of the, 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 the left side, the bottom of the, the page. The bottom of the page. All right? The Machma Shaya Astaris Panam Kajar is like, die. Shalai Zachu Legula Kashe of Ticha Maisha. Afgam Hichpet Aleya Mavoy the Kol Kachi made it more difficult. So, in other words, at one time, we have our, our hopes are up high. Our hopes are up high. Wow, look at these miracles that HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent to Maish Rabbein and showed us. These wonderful miracles. Our hopes are up. And then the next thing we know, we have more difficult, we have, the work is, more, is, more, is made more difficult for us. So where's Hashem? Where's Hashem? So then we had Dasam Vaviram and all of those the, the guys that decided to follow after them. And they're, they're questioning, hey, hey, you, you know, you, you, you came over here and, 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 and now look what happened to us. We have more work. It's more difficult. Mostly when it comes to Parshas Bishalach, and that's why we're learning this lesson right now, because it's Parshas Bishalach. The next page, please turn the next page. I'm making the next page on the Zoom here. Here we go. All right, everyone see it? <laughs> our, our, Zoom, our Zoom listeners, can you see the page? Everyone sees it? Good. Okay. Shaka Shagama Hashem is Baruch Maseyu Ayade Maisha. After Akadish Baruch Hu caused his, his Maisim through Maisha. Vahitsiyam Mimitsrayim. 
and he got it, he took us out from its rhyme. But oh he says with awesome with awesome miracles. Kaila. Ukvaro dosam Vaviram. The Evikola Kukha Hakruchim Akharim. All those guys that were that were that were the opposition to Maisha Rabbeinu, and all of those guys that were following him. Shayalem Tina Belay Val Maisha. They had they had they had to do was like a poison in their heart against Maisha Rabbeinu. Kulam Royu Bainayam. They all saw with their eyes. Shidvar Hashem Emes, that the words of Akkadish Baruch Hu are truthful. Kifi Maisha, Bifi Maisha within from from Maish Rabbeinu. Afal Pisha Pare Hikbed Aleim Avoida. Even though Pare made the Avoida work more difficult. Achas Sheba Maisha Legolam. After Maish Rabbeinu came. Afal Pichain Dvar Aleikenu Yokum Liyolam. The words of Akkadish Baruch Hu will be up upstanding forever, for eternal eternity. As Maisha Beinu took us out, like we learned before, Biyad Chazaka. What was the Yad Chazaka by Kriyas Yamsa? Biyad Chazaka was Roy and Atuya with an outstretched arm. But Oisayis Maivsim Nei Royim Kela. Afa Pichein Sheboi Walayam. When we came to the Yam, Viroyu Vihine Mitzrayim Nei Seleim. Achareim, we saw that the Mitzrayim, we came to the Yam, and we see the Mitzrayim are charging after us. V'roiv Yisrael, hakisherim, v'atimimim, osu kehogen. They did the right thing, and what did they do? V'charoi, v'yitzaku el Hashem. They cried out to the Rabbeinu Shalalim. That's what the, the that's what the the, the 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 righteous Jews did. They cried out to the Rabbeinu Shalalim. They realized that Hakadosh Baruch Hu took us this far. He got us out of Mitzrayim. He 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 he, he, he with all of those amazing miracles and Makis Bechayrus. And now we're here. And they recognize that Hakadosh Baruch Hu didn't take us out to, to to that we should be that we should we should be we should be finished off over here. They recognize that Vayitzaku Ol Hashem Kitavs. Because they grabbed on to the craft of their fathers. And what was the craft of their fathers? Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, davening to the Rabbi Shalom, believing in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, crying out to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu will always save them. And they understood that. And they understood that. Kamei Shem Rabbi Seinu, Zal, as the Rabbi, as, 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 the, as the Chazal teach us, Umuva Perish Rashi, Achayu Bahem, Kitais HaMevakshim, Ta'ana of Hakol Haya al pi the 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 burim royim videya israis al roshe hacholkim shem dasam varirim. But there were always those. There were always those, uh, and there, there always will be those, right? We have them today too, right? They, we have them all. We have them in every single generation. This is happening. There are those that can see miracles, blatant miracles, but they'll just they'll just choose to look the other way. Just the other way. She hit the way some kol kach. At shamru hamibli ein kvarim b'mitzrayim lekachnu lamos b'midbar. What did they say? They said there's not enough graves in Egypt. You got to take us out here to the desert. We have to die here. They have nice, uh, nice, uh, nice cemeteries in Mitzrayim. Why do we have to die over here at, 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 at the Yamsuf? Why? What do we? What do we need this for? What do we need this for? That's what they were saying. That's what Dasam Vaviram was saying. Again, they saw what Hashem did, but now when push comes to shove, what do they do? They complain. They complain. Right? They could have just said, they could have done like everybody else and realized, wait a second, HaKadosh Baruch Hu did all the, you know, let's remember, Mitzrayim was the metropolis of the world. They were, they were, they were, they, they were the, uh, uh, the most modern country and, and it was impossible for anyone to ever escape out of Mitzrayim. No one ever left Egypt. And the whole nation, we went out of Mitzrayim. They, we all went out. Mitzrayim was totally destroyed. Right? The ten markets destroyed it. There was no food left in Mitzrayim. The trees were destroyed. The animals were destroyed. Everything was destroyed there. And then they're saying, what, there's not enough graves in Mitzrayim? They didn't realize that a Kodesh Baruch Hu can do that to the Mitzrayim. And he can't save us over here? That they didn't want to believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and this is what we're trying to learn over here. That there's always, at any time, there's an Nisoyen, there's a test. And then we have the Bechira. We have that free choice. Again, so the ones that had the Bechira, the free choice, we came to, a, there was a big test right there, right? We, we're, we're standing at the Yamsuf. The water is the water is raging at us. We have the the Egyptians chasing after us and behind us. They want they want vengeance. 
we have a big test here, right? So what do we do? So what do we do? We vayitzak to El Hashem. The, the, the righteous Jews cried out to the Rabbi Nishalel. And any time we cry out to the Rabbi Nishalel, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will always listen to us. Hashem wants to hear our tefillahs. That's what Hashem wants. He wants to hear our tefillahs. And that's the right thing to do all the time we come to a juncture in our lives. That's what he said. It, it's Beklolius. When it means Beklolius, it means what, what happened to Klal Yisrael in, as a whole. And the Pratius was each and in each and every individual. Each and every individual. So, what? Any questions on that? No? So now, I, 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 I have a nice story I want to put in right over here. So there was a, there was living in living in Eretz Yisrael, there was a little uh, there was a little boy, and he was about ten years old, and he had uh, similar trouble to uh, most kids have in school today. What's that? They have the, the class bully. Right? There's always that bully, right? We all experienced it when we were in school. Maybe some of us were the bully, right? <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, so there's always that class bully. And, and uh, this little boy, he would, he would go home every day, and this, this bully would always, this guy Ellie would always, uh, would always chepper him and bother him, and it was, it was terrible. But every time, every time he came home, he would go into the house. Before he would go into the house, he would just, he would just take a deep breath, and then he would go into the house and he never would say anything. He wouldn't say anything to he wouldn't say anything to his to his parents. He didn't he didn't he didn't want to say anything. But one time, it was after it was after he got his Afi Kudman present, and he got a new bicycle as of He got a brand new bicycle. And oh, he was so happy to have his bicycle. And he was he was he 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 rode his bicycle to school. It was yeah, great. No, 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 no. So one second. So as he's riding the bicycle, this guy Ellie saw him riding this bicycle. So Ellie was riding his bicycle. So, you know, he went riding after him and he tried to touch his tire to the other one, tried to knock him off the bicycle. Oh, he, 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 was, he, 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 he couldn't deal with it anymore. He just pedaled as fast as he could and he came home. And, and, he, and he ran into the house. And this time he didn't get his composure. He just ran into the house. He sat down on the couch. And he says, he said to, he said to, he said to his mother said, what, what's going on? What's going on? He grabs, he goes to the shelf. He grabs his Tehillim. He grabs the Tehillim. He starts saying to him, he says, I need, I need, a, I need, I need Hashem. I need a protect, I need a bodyguard. I need a bodyguard. I'm going to dive into Hashem. I need a bodyguard. So his mother said to him, what, 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 what happened? No, ma, he didn't want to say anything. He didn't say anything. So now, the next thing that happened was, uh, the mother had, there was a lady next door, lived next door to them. She was a good friend of the mother's. And this lady didn't have any children. She couldn't have any children. So the, uh, so the mother went to speak to the lady and asked the lady to come talk to her son. Maybe she, can, maybe she could talk to him. They had a good relationship so she thought, she comes in and she sees his sincerity. He's saying the words at Tehillim. He's crying and he's saying the words at Tehillim. Mamish, he really believes, he believes what he's saying. He really believes he's talking to the Rabbi Nishalel. So the lady comes over to him and she says to him, you know, I also need a protection. I need a protection also. Can, can you please daven for me that I can have a child? Can you please daven for me that I can have a child? Because she saw his sincerity. He, he continued davening. And the story goes that a year later, she had a child. She had a child. So what is it? Like he said over here, we have to always, we have to connect ourselves to the umness of our avaisa. What's, what's the umness? The, 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 tra- the, the, um, the, 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 the trade. Umness is really a trade. It's a trade. Like, you know, you have a, an electrician, a plumber, a, an architect, a trade. Well, this is a trade. So what was the trade of our Avaisa? Our, the Emais. The Emais and, the, and, 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 and our Avaisa connection. What did they do? They dive into HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They dive into Hashem and they accomplish what they could in Tefillah. So that's what happened over here by the Yamsuf. When the push came to shove by the Yamsuf, and they're standing there by Yitzhakku El Hashem. They cried out to Hashem, those that were real and those that understood, and those that understood that, I, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the only, only thing that can help them. Only Hashem can help them. It's not going to be any people. It's not going to be any, and complaining is not going to help. What does complaining ever help? Does complaining ever help? Ever? Never. Yeah, it does? It helps you. 
it it does. I don't know. You can complain, but whoever listen, the people who listen, what can they do for you? What are they going to do? What can people do? If we realize when we have a problem, okay, but but don't you? But if you take out you to heal him and you dive into the rabbi and shalom, he'll certainly have compassion, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu can certainly help the situation. That's what we're trying to learn here. It's not relying on people. It's not relying on people. It's not relying on, on government officials. It's not relying on anything. Just to rely on the Rabbi Nishalem. That's it. That's all we that's the only thing, that's the only thing that we can do. And in this I had the one more story. There was a, a big uh, there was a big uh, phil- uh, uh, philanthropist that uh, he lived he lived in, in, in New York and he had to go to have a bone marrow transplant. Uh, somewhere, I think it was in uh, somewhere in California, in some hospital, a, a big, uh, a big hospital. They they very they do a lot of bone marrow transplants, and uh, they said that the person when they when they have the bone marrow transplant, they have to stay there for for close to a year after the bone marrow because different complications can uh, can come up, and they and it can be very deadly. So they have to be in the in the they stay in the hospital for a very very long time. So there were three friends. There were three friends of this this Gavir that that felt bad that he's in the hospital so long, so they took a flight and they went out to uh, they went out to this hospital. And when they went out when they went out to the hospital, they uh, one of them was a Kayan, and they wanted to go in and, and give him before the you know they wanted to to to, to, to yeah chizik okay. Because why well, they wanted to give him chizuk, but they also heard that there was another year. There was another year that came from Eretz Yisrael, uh, Yerushalmi Dekayid, that was there also, and he was going to have a procedure there also, and they wanted to be able to give him a bracha before his procedure. But they got there; it was too late, and they already did the procedure. They got there thirty minutes late. So uh, there was this. Uh, there was this nurse. A uh, male nurse or whatever it was that was there, and uh, he came over. He came over to these to these yidden, and he said, "I need you to help me with something." So they said, "What do you need help with?" Well, he says, "You know what I always do is I always tell I always tell the uh, bone marrow uh, patients I tell them like this that that you know you're going to have this procedure, and when you wake up from the procedure, you're going to be pretty much lifeless." And you're going to be in a lot of pain for a few days. But don't worry. Over a few days, you'll feel much better. You'll get better. Don't worry about it. It's normal. We do the, we do hundreds of these things, and this is the way it is, and that's the way it is. So don't worry. I don't want you to worry about it. As they, he's telling them this, they see that this Yid, they see this Yid that had this procedure, they see him getting up on his bed and they see he's moving his legs carefully and he's 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 trying to stand up and he stands up by the with his uh by the with it with the iv pole that he stands there and he he walks very slowly over to the sink and they see him take the a cup and they see him wash negovasa they see him wash his hands the, 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 the nurse almost plots. The, the, he was he was going nuts. How, how, how did this guy do this? How did this guy do this? They see he puts on his hat. He had his hat. It was a you know it was a He can't be he can't be without his hat. So he puts on he puts on his hat and he gets back into the bed and he sits there. He washed his hands and he puts on his hat. Maybe he wanted a daven mincha or something. Or who knows? He put on his hat. okay. So what do you see? So so the nurse. Was like he was he was amazed. Like, what's how did this happen? How did this happen? So the guy said to him, you know, maybe it's like this. Maybe because all the time you tell the patients before that they're not going to be able to, uh, they're not going to be able to, uh, you know, move too much, and they're not going to have too much energy. So when they wake up, they figure, well, I, I can't, I can't have a lot of energy. I can't move. But this guy is an Israeli. I don't speak Hebrew. I wasn't able to, he wasn't able to tell, he wasn't able to tell them that he can't do these things. He wanted, he wanted that these guys should tell the wife so she could tell him. Because, you know, because he wasn't going to, he had the procedure so he wouldn't be able to listen to him. Yeah. 
So, so what do you see from that? You see from that that it's all, he's a mom in Bashem. That's what it is. If you have a moon in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and you re- recognize it's all Hashem, and don't listen to what people tell you. We don't have to listen to what the world is saying. This, you have to be worried about this, worried about that, worry, worry, worry. That's all they want you to do is worry. That's all the world wants, worry. But we're learning over here that each thing, we're, we're living our lives today in a test of all tests with all this nonsense going on in the world. But if we recognize that we only tr- c- c- can rely on the Rabbi Nishalel, and it's not on any government, and it's not on any vaccine, it's not on any anything, anything. It's only Hashem. And we put our hope, and we put our, 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 our tefillah into Hashem, and we dive in like we mean it, we can see the biggest, biggest, biggest Yeshua's. Does okay. anyone want to say anything? Any questions? Any comments? Ernie, any questions? Marty, okay, Shimon. No, we're good? Everyone's good? All right, so I want to wish everyone a, 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 a wonderful um, a wonderful rest of your week. And, uh, okay, I, I'm going to be in, in Mitz Hashem. I have a flight back to Eretz Yisrael next week uh, on, on Sunday night, uh, if they don't change their minds or anything, you know. <laughs> and if they don't, Baruch Hashem, so I'll be over there. So next week we'll have our class on Zoom. At the same time, it'll be uh, 10 o'clock, uh, 10 a.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time, right? This is called Eastern Standard Time? Uh-huh. Eastern yeah. Standard Time. And uh, meanwhile, everyone have a wonderful day and cold too. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Thank you.